Hank is a beat maker. He downloaded FL Studio because he wanted to learn how to make lo-fi. He started messing around, but he quickly discovered that his beats didn't really improve. He wanted to upload one beat every week, but even such an easy deadline was impossible for him to meet. He was worrying way too much about mixing, mastering, and all the stuff that isn't important if you don't know the fundamentals of a lo-fi beat. This is why Hank's beats didn't improve. All he ever wanted to do was put his music out on Spotify and hopefully one day make a living out of making lo-fi beats. Hank doesn't exist. I'm talking talking about you. It's a good thing you're here because today I'm going to teach you the fundamentals of a lo-fi beat. Let's open up FL Studio. To make a lo-fi melody you don't always have to sample stuff. You can start out with a simple piano melody which you can make with FL keys. For lo-fi I like to stay in between 70 and 90 bpm, but if you want to you can go higher or lower. Also I'll be working in the C major scale to make things easier. So let's make a C major chord by skipping over one white note every time. Then create a D minor chord and duplicate everything. Lo-fi sometimes sounds a little bit jazzy. And to make your chords sound jazzier, you can add a 7th note to all the chords. To create more warmth, copy the root notes and paste them one octave lower. What I like to do now is to shift or offset the notes of the chords a little bit. That will make it sound more real. Cool, right? Now to take it a step further, randomize the velocity so that the notes don't have the exact loudness. Now head over to the magnet and set the time signature to one third. On top of the chords, I created a simple but nice melody. Next, we're gonna open up Flex, a free stock plugin included with FL Studio. Find the all strings low instrument and open up the piano roll. Now make a simple melody that follows along with the chords. I usually layer a note with one of the four notes you can see here. For the bass, you can just copy the root notes. You don't want the bass to sound too complex. Next, we're gonna add some effects to the melody. First, add an equalizer and cut away the low frequencies. This makes space for the bass. I also like to decrease a little bit of the highs to create a muffled or old sound. A reverb. I usually add a lot of reverb to my piano melodies because this will increase the dynamics. It will create more space. For the drums, I always start with the clap. Cool, now head over to the kick and create a pattern like this. You can make the drum pattern sound more real if you offset the kick nose just a little bit. Okay, the next trick is really awesome. Create a double kick like this and and decrease the velocity of the first one. This is what it sounds like. Next, it's really important to hit that like button. Please. No, just kidding. We're gonna create some groove to the beat. And to do that, we have something called the hi-hat. As you can see, the time signature is still at one third. Now, on every quiet space in between the kick and the claps, I like to add a few hi-hats. Make sure to layer a hi-hat with the kicks right here. This will make them sound more present. Offsetting these will also sound really cool because then it sounds like it's being played by a real drummer. And of course, don't forget to play with the velocity as well. The next trick is what makes a difference between a basic lo-fi beat and the ones you hear on Spotify. So pay attention. In the mixer, rename a track to drum bus and give it a color. Send all the drums to that bus and do the same for the melodies you've created for this beat. Now with the drum bus selected, right click on the melody bus and select sidechain to this track. Select the melody bus and add the fruity limiter to it. Now go to the compressor and select the drum bus. Increase the ratio to its max and decrease the threshold knob until you hear the melody ducking for the drums. But what's happening now? Well every time a drum sample plays, the melody will duck so there's more space for the drum sound to be present. This technique is called sidechaining but for lo-fi you want it to have a bumping effect. And that's what we've just created with this compressor. And now you know how to do that. To make it sound like a professional lo-fi beat, you can add the free vinyl plug into the master track. That sounds amazing, but now it's time to turn the loop we created into a full beat. You can learn everything about that in this video right here. So, I gotta go now. Goodbye. <laughs>